I mean, they cold, but. Nah, they kind of cold. <laughs> you have got to go. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay Rose back with another video. Thank you for checking out the page Ghost Fly Kicks. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And then also hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. All right, guys, we're back with the part two of the Union Jordan 4. You've seen the thumbnail, so there's no need for suspense or any kind of malarkey. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So today we're going over the Air Jordan Union 4 off Noir. This is the second colorway of the Air Jordan Union 4 and the Off Noir Fusion Red. We did the review on the Guava Ice and here we are with the black pair. The black pair is the one that is going for more resale and it's also the one that is more widely available. There was more pairs of these as the Guava Ice with the Union exclusives. These were supposed to release globally on Sneakers app and other locations on September 30th. However, it has been pushed back until October 16th. Two weeks basically. I'm not only fortunate enough to be able to review these two shoes, but I'm also able to compare them side by side. Before we get into the comparison, let's take a deeper look into the Off Noirs. Featuring a predominantly black upper on top of an eight cell midsole, we have some very nice suede that aligns the top of the shoe. Very similar to the Guava Ice. On the toe cap, along with the side panels on the medial and lateral side, we have this fabric, this knitted fabric type of material that is also overlaid on top of the side panels. Working our way up to the collar, we have that same knitted material done in blue on the ankle collar. White and red crown waffles on the eyelets. We have that same translucent wings material that is done in one piece. Working our way to the heel, we have a black heel tab with a red Nike Air. And on the outsole, we have hits of black, blue, and red. And the air bubble was done in red as well. Now comparing the two shoes, you can see that they're very similar. And then some of the color choices make more sense side by side. For example, going over the outsole, you can see that they truly inverted the colors on the outsole. So instead of a black hit on the Off Noir, you've got a white hit here on the Guava Ice. Instead of a predominantly red backing on the Guava Ice, you have a blue backing on the North Noir and the Nike Airs are done invertedly in red and blue as well. So it makes more sense when you had the shoes side by side. Working our way to the heel, we have a black Nike Air tab done in red and a blue Nike Air tab done in red as well. So similar build quality, like I said, you do have the tongue that's folded over that is stitched that will reveal a, large, a true tongue if you remove the stitching. Black laces, blue union tag, Comes in the same box as before with that cool graphic. And both pairs come with the same color spare laces and that yellowish gold. So this is truly like a sister shoe, you know, twin shoe, twin sibling shoe. Kind of cool. Taking a look at the insole, we got an all black insole with a red jumpman and red union. Uh, going over the suede quality. It's a nice suede. It's not super hairy. It doesn't change texture or colors uh, when you rub it, but it does feel nice to the touch. Um, you know, it's a thicker suede. It's not cheap at all, but it's not necessarily hairy that's gonna like uh, change colors with the booty backstroke motion. I really like this Jordan Union tag done in blue. I didn't really kind of go over that a lot in the Guava Ice review, but I really do like this touch. And then there's a close up of the lateral side with the Union LA tag sticking out. So here you have it everyone. This is the review on the Union Jordan 4 collaborations series. I didn't get the Delta, the uh, Air 92, etc. Like 
I didn't get a lot of that stuff, but fortunately enough, I was able to review these two pairs. I want to give a shout out to my bro Chris for allowing me to review his pair because I only hit on the Guava Ice. I was unable to hit on this pair or damn near the whole series. But fortunately, we got these two reviews for you guys. I'm hoping you enjoyed it. All right, guys, I'm your host, J. Rose. Thanks for out the page, Ghost Fly Kicks. If you like this review, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And let me know in the comments below which pair do you like more? Do you prefer the Guava Ice or are you more of an off noir type of person? All right, guys, I'm Jay Rhodes. Check y'all later. Peace.